Thank you for stopping by Just Peeling Barbecue. Today we're going to do chicken fajitas on the new addition to the Just Peeling Barbecue arsenal, the Nuque Argentinian Gaucho Grill. Stay tuned. All right, we've got a new grill that I want to share with you, and I'm, I'm thankful that I can uh, share this with you guys on my channel. This is an Argentinian style gaucho grill. Uh, you have a fire box over here basically, and you, you start your fire over here, the coals drop to the bottom, and then you can kind of rake them under your uh, grill grate. You'll kind of see that throughout the video. Really cool, this is really the kind of cooking that I love to do. Um, and so that's what we're gonna use today to do the uh, chicken fajitas. So to start this fire, I've got two of these little woolly fire starters. I'm just going to place one at each end, basically. And then I'm going to be starting it with some lump charcoal. This is some Baltic lump charcoal. And I'm going to try to pick some decent sized pieces and just kind of line the edges with those. And then build a little rooftop over the top of them to get this fire started. Now once your charcoal is stacked up kind of like this, just light your fire starters. And really this is called a bassetto. Where you start your fire, it really acts kind of like a charcoal chimney would. And now we're just going to let this go once it gets started good. Then we're going to add some kiln dried firewood and get our fire started. So now that we've got the charcoal somewhat started, I'm going to go ahead and add just a few small pieces of kiln dried firewood. Just to kind of get that started. Get it going. A couple of small pieces. And then here's the cooking grate. Lift up your lid, and then here's your cooking grate. Once those coals start dropping to the bottom, I take my little rake and I can rake them over under the cooking surface. And I can raise, raise and lower the cooking grate as needed in order to control my temps. Alright, so I've raked some of the coals all the way over here under our griddle, and we're going to get the vegetables on now. I've used my uh, laser temp thermometer, and it's running about 250, 270 underneath the griddle part, so that's what we're going to get on now. i got a little olive oil here. Put some of that olive oil on there. And then in here, we've just got some onion red, yellow, and green bell pepper, and some jalapeno that we've got in here. Nice little sizzle when it hits the griddle. And that griddle came with the Nuki Gaucho Grill, really cool. And I'm gonna hit this with a little Charlie's Choice Spicy. Right over the top and a little Tango Spice Company Southwest Sunset.
give a little more oil and then we're just going to let that go we're not in any hurry today and when you're cooking with a gaucho you shouldn't be in a hurry you're out here to relax and enjoy the experience all right the vegetables are cooking real nice over there and it's time to get the uh, chicken on I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil to the chicken breasts or chicken tenders. These were chicken breasts and I cut them myself. They're really large chicken breasts, so I figured it would go good with these fajitas. Again, I'm going in with a little Charlie's Choice spicy, keeping the same flavors that I did with the vegetables and a little bit of Tango Spice Company. A little spiciness to the fajitas that we're going to have. I'm going to turn them over and make sure they get seasoned on both sides. Again, when you're messing with any kind of raw meat, but especially chicken, once you get through, make sure that you wash your hands and make sure you're aware of what you're touching and things like that. Go ahead and lift the lid with my right hand there. Vegetables are looking good. It's a windy day today, so that's the only bad part. Let that wind die down just a little bit. But the good thing is we do have the lid. And once again, I'll be adjusting my temperature by lifting up the grill grate, lifting down the grill grate, adjusting it as needed. The wood that I'm using is a combination of hickory, maple, and oak. Now you could expedite this process by using lump charcoal and not have to worry about waiting on embers to drop, but I like using the real wood because I like seeing that fire here in the crackle of the wood and that's just part of the experience. So we're going to let this go a little while and then I'll uh, keep you updated. Alright, what I have in this pan right here is some low carb tortillas that's only 5 grams of net carbs if you're watching your carbs or doing keto. Uh, so these are 5 net grams of carbs. They're spinach and herb tortillas. And in the bottom, I've got a damp paper towel. And on top, I've got a damp paper towel. I'm just going to cover it with tin foil. And the other cool thing about this gaucho grill is right here, there's a door that drops down. And you can slide that right in there and close it. And because of the fire bricks in the bottom of that gaucho grill, when they heat up, it's heating up the top and really throughout the whole grill and that acts as a warmer for those tortillas so they're going to be nice and warm when we get ready to use them. Alright everything's done. The caramelized vegetables are done. The chicken is done. So I'm going to lift this up away from the fire, okay? And now I'm going to get our tortillas out of the warmer. And it is nice and warm. Set that right here. And now the fun part begins. A little taste test. Nice warm tortillas. We'll put those back in the warmer to keep those warm. Now let's make us a tortilla. Now let's slice up this chicken. Put that in a tortilla. Right down the middle. Hot. Straight off of the wood fire. Can't beat that. Now for a little vegetables. Let's 
scrape those right up right on top smell is wonderful now with a little sour cream right down the middle and a little heartbeat hot sauce from Thunder Bay Ontario thanks to Justin Stanley one of my subscribers sent it to me I haven't tried it yet but I'm gonna try it now I can open up the lid right down the middle that looks really good and a little bit of cheese on top and that's gonna do it see if we can wrap this thing up straight over the top that's a big one gonna be messy let's try it and see how we did hmm great flavors the one thing I think about is the difference between getting a pizza from a traditional pizza place and eating a pizza that's a wood-fired pizza you can tell right away that there's a big difference and it's because of that wood-fired flavor that's what this gaucho grill gives you really fun to use the spiciness from the southwest sunset from tango joe spice company and the charlie's choice hot and the hot sauce really good flavor not too hot but just enough heat counteracted by that sour cream and cheese great flavors if you haven't uh, looked at a gaucho style grill give them a look really fun adds a whole new element to your backyard until next time we'll be piddling Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for stopping back by Just Pillin' Barbecue. Today we're going to be doing chicken fajitas on the on the Nuki Argentinian Gaucho Grill. Nuki.